What's up, PassFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a Dumbbell Tabata Workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And the weight that you choose will be dependent upon your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for all of the modifications, which are really important to me right now because I'm currently pregnant. For today's Tabata routine, we're gonna do four rounds of each exercise. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. So if you're ready to get started, let's burn it out. All right, make no mistake about it, HasFit Tribe, today's workout is gonna be a tough one. So we wanna make sure that our bodies are ready for that work. That's why we're gonna get started with the warm up. First move is gonna be a shoulder box and warm up our shoulders. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle, tucked into our bodies. Let's raise those upper arms till they're parallel, parallel to the floor, pull back on the hands, return the hands, and then arms come back down. So it's one, two, three, four, repeating through that sequence. And every time you get to the top and pull back on those hands, feel that stretch in those shoulders, warming up those rotator cuffs, breathing here. Nice, big, deep breaths, elevating that overall body temperature, as well as starting to get your heart rate up, preparing your body for the work that is yet to come. Doing this one for three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're gonna move to the floor for the next one. It's called a frogger step plus rotation. So let's sit back, weight in our hips, hands on the floor. Then we're gonna step back into a high plank position. Both of us are gonna step forward with our right foot by our right hand. That's the frogger step. Now with our right hand, we're gonna reach through to our left side, rotate up, Looking up at that hand, place that hand back down on the floor. Right foot goes back. Now left foot comes up, reach through left hand to the right side, and then reach up and return. So we're gonna repeat this sequence, going back and forth between the right and left sides. Now, depending on your flexibility level, you may feel good getting that foot all the way up by the hand, or you may feel more comfortable with a smaller step and that's okay as well. Please just keep in mind this is a warm up. It is not part of the workout. So let's work at a warm up pace, just warming up those hips, and getting them ready for all the work. And this really is a total body stretch, hitting your hamstrings, your glutes, your quadriceps, shoulders, chest, mid back, upper back, chest. Just about everything's getting hit on this one. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna stay down on the floor for our next one. We're gonna perform what's called a bird dog. So let's get on all fours into a quadruple position. I'm gonna bring my right hand to my left knee and then extend both my right arm and my left leg kicking straight back. Return, return back to the ground, left hand to right knee. And then extend, driving that heel straight back. Again, alternating right and left sides. This is a great overall move for that posterior chain, your upper back, lower back, glutes, hamstrings, awakening those glutes, making sure they're gonna fire it during that workout. We're just kicking straight back, making sure to keep our shoulders nice and square, our hips nice and square. So try not to turn this into a, where you're kicking up into the air. It's a great point. I like to try to pretend like I'm kicking a hole in the wall behind me for five, four, three, two, one, last one, zero. 
All right, I'm starting to feel warm. How are you feeling, Claudia? I'm about as warm as I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a truthful answer. We're hoping you're ready as well. So as we mentioned in the intro today, it is a Tabata workout. We're gonna do four rounds of every exercise. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, getting as many reps in as we can, and then 10 seconds of rest. And that 10 seconds of rest is gonna fly by. Like that. And we're gonna repeat that four times. For our first move, we're gonna need one dumbbell. We're gonna perform a suitcase squat. So with that one dumbbell, we're gonna hold it in our right hand. Put that opposite left arm out, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna put our weight back in our hips, perform a squat, bring those thighs parallel to the floor, back up. So we're gonna do that move for 20 seconds, getting as many reps in as we can. Let's do it. It's showtime, folks. Let's do it. And three, two, one, hit it. And this one is all about intensity. How many repetitions can you get in in this short period of time? Making sure we keep our breath, exhaling as we push ourselves up, and inhale as we will go down. And you have three more seconds. Two, one, zero. Ooh. All right, quick 10 second break. We're gonna switch hands. So we were in the right hand. Now we're gonna be in the left hand for the next one. Shake those legs out, ready position, and Hit it, same move. Making sure that you're keeping balanced, driving through the midfoot so you're not falling back onto your heels and you're not falling forward onto your toes. Like you're sitting back in a chair. Great tip. Here we go, you just have four more seconds. Two, one, zero. Ooh. All right, shaking it loose. So two down, two to go here. A couple of big deep breaths. And Let's get started. Right into it, let's go. Halfway done with this one. This one's working your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your glutes. A little bit of grip work, a little bit of lower back. Squat is a great overall functional move here. Here we go, three more seconds. Two, one. All right, already starting to feel a little oh bit of a goodness. burn. Switching hands again over that left side. Three down, one to go, you got it, Tribe. Three, two, one, hit it. Let's go, pushing the pace here. How many can you get? Remember throughout today's workout, you are not in competition with Claudia and I. You are in competition with yourself, trying to get a little bit better than you were yesterday. Three more seconds. Showing up, putting in that work, and rest. All right, Oh, excellent. wow. Okay, so we're gonna give our legs a little bit of a break. We need two dumbbells for the next one. We're going to perform an alternating split stance row. So one dumbbell in each hand, starting with our feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna step back with my right foot, lean forward, and then pull back from each elbow from in a row, step forward, and then left side, row. Alternating between right and left sides here. One nice big deep breath, <laughs> and away we go, begin. Stepping back, leaning forward on about a 45 degree angle. This one, you are gonna feel it in your legs as well. So I get that nice little forward lean going, working that lead leg, pulling back from the elbows. Let's go try three more seconds. Two, one, zero. All right, first one down, three to go. If you need to adjust your weight, now's the time to do it. Always, yes. Three. Two, one, hit it. Again, alternating right and left sides. Anytime we perform any type of row, we want to pull back from our elbows like there's a string attached to them. We don't want to pull back from our hands. Don't hold your breath here. It will catch up with you. Here we go, three seconds. Focusing on that breathing and rest. <gasps> All right, two down, two here to go. go. Again, like I said, we encourage you to adjust that weight for the movement. And begin. Right back into it. Whew, that was 10 seconds. <laughs> Fly by. Are you sure that was 10 seconds, Claudia? Um, I promise. I would never right. lie to you. All right. I guess I believe you. There it is. Come on. Pushing the pace. How many can you get? Right here. In three, two, one, break. All right. Very good. Ooh. Three down. One to go. Last Come one on. right here. You got it. You got it. Let's make it count. Let's go, Tribe, and begin. Hit it. 
Again, stand well balanced, keeping that back straight. Don't round your back. Make sure you come and stand straight up and back into the position. Thank you for that reminder. Not much left. Almost there, come on, push, and push, three, push, push. Two, one, and break. Excellent. Whew. All right, let's set our dumbbells down for the next one. We have a footwork drill ahead of us. I'm gonna perform a forward and back hop. And I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Starting light and all the balls of my feet, I'm gonna jump forward, jump back. And I'm stepping forward with my right foot, stepping forward with my left foot, and same thing on the back. So you decide if you want the impact version or the no impact version. Either way, 20 seconds coming at you. In three, two, one, hit it. So on this one, I'm focused. I'm really just trying to move my feet forward and back and not my whole body. Almost like there's a line I'm jumping across. And same thing for me. It's like I'm in. there's a line that I'm crossing, but I'm just doing the one, two, three, four steps. Hot Here we go. Feet, hot we feet. Four more seconds. Two, one, break. All right, one down, three to go. Quick cue on this one. You want to be light, right? So we want to be a bouncy ball, not a rock here. Two, one, go. Getting as many ground touches in as you can, whether you're doing my version or Claudia's version. It's all about those hot feet. Keep them moving. Nice soft bend in your knees. That's right. Here we go. Three more seconds. Almost there, almost there. Rest. Two down, Ooh. two to go. It's all about those short, quick bursts of energy today. Two, one, zero. Right back into it. Go, 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 go. How many can you get? Come on. Challenging yourself. Change doesn't happen without first being challenged. I want to get you out of your comfort zone today. Only you can do that. You got to get yourself there. Let's go. Two, one, rest. Good, good, good. We got one more, right? I know, I know your calves are burning, but that's it, just one more. That's it. Here Last we go. One. Let's go, let's go. Big energy right here, right here, ready? Hit it, let's go. Make sure to breathe. This is the last one, give it all you got, come on. Keep it moving. Any time today you need to switch in back and forth between our two variations, feel free to do so. Here we go, in three, two, one, break. Ah, all right, no all right. more of those. We are going to need both dumbbells for the next one. A couple of big deep breaths here. We're gonna do either a drop split jerk or a split jerk with a step back. Let's yes, get, I'll show you what uh, that looks like. Those dumbbells in rack position. Now, as I press the dumbbells overhead, I'm gonna jump back into a drop split position alternating right and left legs. And I'm just stepping back, but as I step back in that drop, I'm shooting my dumbbells overhead. So you decide if you want more of a step back or the jump version. All right, here we go. Dumbbells rack position. We're gonna keep this pace up and begin. Every time driving those dumbbells straight up overhead, finishing with your biceps by your ears. That's it, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. Well, great minds think alike. Come on. Let's go. Here we go, three more seconds. And rest, excellent. Ooh. Another good total body move here. Total body exercise, calves, hamstrings, glutes, quads, shoulders, triceps. And go. And go. That's it, come on. One into the next. Really trying to drop under those dumbbells every time. 10 more seconds, here Full we go. Full extension. If you need to, you can increase or decrease your weight. In three, two, one, break. Ha! Ah, shoulders are catching on fire already. And notice we are using relatively lighter weight than most yep. workouts with these. Yep, it's about the intensity and speed on today. And routine. begin. Oh shoot, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds catches up to you. Caught you slipping. How you did. Not the first time. Don't turn your eyes away from the clock. Come on, let's go, tribe. One into the next. How many can you get right here? Right now. In three. Two, one, break. Ooh, all right. Last one. Three down, one to go. You one got more. this. Come on, you made it this far. No quit in you. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see. All right, rack position and begin. Last set. Big intensity. How about that speed here? Come on. Pushing yourself here. How many can you get? 
Ooh. Not much left. Come on. Move, Push move, through. Move. Come on. And three, two, one. Break. Ah. Nice work. All right. We're feeling it too. I'm going to put my dumbbells down for this next one. And I'm going to keep holding mine. Next up, we're going to do a sumo deadlift jump. Real powerful lower body move. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out. I'm gonna keep my dumbbells here in front of me. They're gonna come between my legs. I'm gonna break at my hips, sit back. And then as I come up, I'm gonna explode. Jump, nice soft landing, preparing myself for that next repetition. Doing the exact same move, but just my body weight. You decide what's appropriate for you, but we're gonna get it going. In three, two, one, hit it. Weight back in the hips every time. Nice soft landing. Don't come forward onto your toes. Don't fall back under your heels. Don't lean over and bend forward with your back. So you gotta smile through this one. You only have four seconds left. Come on, come on, come on. Two, one, rest. Oh wow, shake it out. Oh yeah, these work. I can <laughs> tell they're working. Ooh. And begin. All right, hit it, come on. One down, three to go. Come on. You got it, one rep right into the next. Everyone is getting you just that much closer to your goal. Right here, what is it? What are you working towards, Tribe? Woo-wee, three seconds. And right. Ooh. All right, feeling good, two down, two to go. You got this, no you can do it. No shame in dropping your weights if you need to. That's it. None whatsoever. Just keep moving. Two, one, begin. That's it. Get that breathing under control. Focus on it. Come on, you might have to go to your happy place on this one. That's right. I'm gonna slow my pace down just a little bit, but I'm not stopping. That's it, do what you gotta do to get through. And break. Ah. Oh my. All right, we're, if there's any uh, doubt about it, we're feeling it just like you are, right there with you. <sighs> Last one, let's make a count. And go. Come on, make a count. You got it. We're Anything? suffering too, let's go. That's it, we're not stopping, you can't stop. Make it to the end, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What do you got? Prove it Woo. to yourself, right here. And break. Ha, nice job. All right, we need just one dumbbell for the next one. So I'm gonna set my extra down. And I'm gonna pick mine up. We're gonna grab that dumbbell from either side. We're gonna get down on one knee. This is called a half kneeling push through. So here's our half kneeling position. Now I'm gonna rotate into that side, the knee that's up into my left side, extend my arms and draw, uh, pull the dumbbell back into me as I rotate back. Again, for 20 seconds, ready and begin. Full range of motion here. Making sure to engage that core, keep that core tight throughout the whole move. Twist as best as you can without twisting the rest of your body. We don't want you to turn this into a lower body rotation either. That's it, rotating at your core. And break. Excellent, okay, so let's switch which knee is up. Whew. Very good, one down, three to go, <laughs> same move, and begin. Now rotating into that opposite side. Full extension on those arms. This one's gonna work your shoulders, your grip, forearms, chest abs all getting hit with this very functional move it's very important that we work in our rotational strain and break all right two down two to go here switching which knee is up a couple of big deep breaths and we're right back into it begin that's it make sure you get that full extension with the arms make sure that as you're extending your arms out that you're exhaling and inhaling as you bring the dumbbell back to your chest. That's a great tip. This one's all about coordinating that breathing. Two, one, zero. All right, one last one. Opposite knee up here. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Excellent here. One repetition into the next. Focusing on your breathing, focusing on keeping that core engaged and tight. And three, two, one, 
zero. Nice work. Come on up to your feet. We're gonna need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna do a dumbbell swing with either a reverse lunge. Or a step back. All right, so a little bit of coordination involved in this one. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. Hands are at our side. We're gonna hinge at our hips, swing those dumbbells back. And I'm gonna step back with my right foot, bringing both the knees to a 90. I'm not going back into a lunge. I'm just gonna do a step back. So as you come up, you're already coming right back into that swing. You decide which depth is appropriate for you with those legs. 20 seconds, ready, set, and begin. This one's gonna take a little bit of coordination. Even took me a few minutes in the warm ups to get this one right, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Another total body move here for you. Working your hamstrings, your glutes, lower back. And three, two, one, break. Ah, ooh. ooh, shake those legs shake out. Shake everything out after I that I know, I feel, I feel for you over there. <laughs> no, don't feel bad for me, I'm getting my work in. <laughs> and begin, let's go. Again, starting with that hinge and then moving into it. Again, a total body move here. Also hitting the upper body. Shoulders, you're getting some good work in along the way. Make sure you use those hips to swing those dumbbells up to parallel. Keeping that back straight. Ooh. Almost there, come on. Let's go, Tribe. Fight to the end. Two, one, and zero. Nice work. All right. 10 seconds. Two down, two to go. <laughs> Stay focused here. All right, Tribe, in three, two, one, begin. All right, right back into it. It's that time of the workout where it would be super easy to just hit the pause button and call it a day but that's not what you're all about. You're a fighter, not a quitter. You're in this to the end. Come on. Come on, on Tribe, not much left. And three, two, one, break. Ah, one excellent. more. Three down, one to go. One you got more to this. go. Come on, let's go. Prove it to yourself what you're made of right here. And three, two, one, begin. Here it is, you versus you. Let's make it to that finish line. It's just 20 seconds, come on. That's it, come on. You can do this, you can do anything. Keep your eyes focused on that finish line. Not much left. Those who think they can, and those who think they can't are both right. And Which one are you? Break. Ah, excellent. Okay, good news is, next one <laughs> is just gonna work our arms. Oh yeah. We're gonna do a dumbbell reverse curl next. We need both of our dumbbells. Feet are shoulder width apart. Elbows are in here, palms are down. We're gonna curl all the way up, all the way down, nice and under control. Burn out those forearms and biceps. All right, let's do it. And three, two, one, you got it. Keep those wrists nice and locked. You don't want them loose. If you need to adjust your weight, feel free to do so. Keep those elbows close to your body also and breathe through the movement. You don't have much left. In three, two, one, and break. Ah, all right. Ooh, 10 seconds, Arms shake it out. Arms are gonna feel good after this one. One down, three to go. Let's hit it in two, one, begin. You feel as good as those legs do. Yeah, well, legs are taking a break, <laughs> thank God. This one's working your forearms and your biceps. Try your best not to get momentum involved on this one. Keep it under control here. Notice we have a nice little soft bend in our knees. We don't wanna keep our legs locked out. And three, two, one, break. All right, two down, two to go. You're doing great, just keep it up. Keep that momentum going here, come on. And begin, here we go. Remember what it is that brought you here today to begin with. What is it, what goal are you working towards? Stay focused on it throughout the whole routine. Don't forget about it, it's gonna be the, that little tangible item that gets you through to the end. Not much left. In three, two, one, break. Ah, Ooh, all right. my biceps are feeling it. Whew, a couple of big deep breaths, because we all know by now that 10 seconds is going by fast. Two, one, hit it. Speaking of which, that's it, last one. Come on, you got it right to the very end. Finish up these reverse curls. And then really that's it for your biceps for today's workout. Finish tough, right here, come on. Not much left, Tribe, come on. And four, three, 
two, one, break. Ah, burn so good. We just need one dumbbell for the next one. We're gonna move to the floor, gonna get into a high plank position. So I'm sitting down and set my dumbbell down. I'm actually gonna get in a high plank position from my knees. And I'm gonna come from my feet. I'm gonna grab that one dumbbell. We're gonna do a high plank, straight arm pullback. So I'm pulling back without rotating at my core. Get that arm locked and tight. Here it is. Come on, you got it. 20 seconds and three, two, one. Let's see it right here, Tribe. Try your best to keep those shoulders square, even though I know it's tough. It is tough. Breathe through the movement. Exhale as you swing that arm back. That's it, keep it nice and tight. So we're working your triceps, your back, your abs, legs, shoulders, all at the same time. And break. Ah, all right. You know about the drill by now, we gotta hit that other side. Let's switch to the left side now, same move. Get in that position and begin. Ah, that's it, come on. Keep that core locked and engaged. You don't want your butt way up in the air, and you also don't want it sinking. Keep it engaged. Keep nice, it nice straight back. Yep, keep a nice little bend in that stationary arm that's on the ground. Great tip. Whew. And three. Breathe. Two, one, break. Excellent. Okay. Ooh. Two down. Two to go. Halfway plank. You got this. Keep that positive energy flowing here. Come on. All right, back in position and begin. Ah, right back into it. Come on, you got it. One more on each side. Oh my goodness, that stationary arm is really feeling it. Yeah, we're all feeling it with you. You're not alone out there, Hasfit Tribe. Wherever you are doing this workout, thousands, maybe millions of us working, hurting just along with you. And break. Ha, ah, that's it. We're all in it together, Tribe. Come on, one last one, that's it. Let's go, let's go. Ready and position. Begin. Come on, last 20 seconds. Right here, right now. I want you to impress yourself today with how great of a job you did. Do more than you thought you were capable of doing. Every time you come back, get just that much better. Almost and there. three, two, one, and break. Ah, excellent work. Nice, nice work out work. there. Nice work, Claudia. That was nice work, Tribe. Killer. Can you believe she did this whole workout while pregnant? Just take a couple of seconds here. Nice work, Claudia. We're proud of you. Thank you. We're proud of you out there too, Tribe. Let's move into the cool down and we get to come to the floor for that. So a little bit of a break, thank goodness. We're gonna move into a lying overhead shoulder extension to Angel. Oh, that's a long name. I'll guide you through this. It's not as <laughs> difficult as the name would insinuate. Let's go ahead and lie down on her back. Thank our, goodness for that. With our feet flat down on the ground. All right, start with those arms at our side, palms are in. We're gonna start with the overhead shoulder extension. So just keep those straight arms as we bring the arms all the way up overhead, maintaining contact with the floor with our back. Come as far back as you can. If that's touching the ground, great. If you can't quite get there, try your best. And then let's switch those hands so the palms are in the sky, uh, pointing towards the sky. And now we're gonna perform an angel. Bring those elbows straight down. Trying your best to drag your hands and elbows on the floor. We know that's hard. And then reverse it. Fully extend the arms back all the way up. Twist those palms so they're facing inward. And reverse it on that overhead shoulder extension. Okay, let's do it again. Arms come all the way up, loosening up those shoulders. Twist the palms and then pull or drag those elbows down. You can't quite touch your hands or your elbows to the floor. Just do the best that you can. You'll still get a good stretch. Extend back up and then twist the palms in reverse. Very good. Just going through this dynamic stretch here. This one's great for your shoulders, your chest, your back, rotator cuffs. Just a great overall upper body mobility drill. And wow, we really, hit that upper body hard. So it's important we take the time for that restoration work. Last one here, going through the full range of motion, hopefully getting a little looser as we go through it. And extend all the way back. Very good. All right, for this next one, let's focus on our lower body and we are going to rotate on over to our right side. Just gently moving my mic pack here so I don't roll on it because that's not the most comfortable thing. 
All right, rolling on to my right side, we're gonna do a side line quad stretch. I'm gonna grab my foot or ankle with my top hand. If you can't quite reach it, grab a towel or a band to help you do so. Pull back on that foot, keep that knee tucked into your side. And this is just a static stretch. So we're just gonna hold here. Man, those sumos oh, those blasted sumo my jumps. quads. Yeah. So those. this this is feeling really good, but it's feeling also a little tight. Yeah, yeah that's all right. <laughs> we, hey, we got some good work in today, so we're gonna feel it. And three, two, one, relax. Just go ahead and roll over to the opposite side now. Same move, just gotta get equal stretching on both legs, of course. Again, reaching back, keeping that knee in tight to your body. And anytime we perform one of these static stretches, we wanna to get to about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. Feeling a good stretch, but should not feel pain. And that's a, don't be alarmed. One side feels a little tighter than the other. It's completely normal. Nice big deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, come on up nice and slowly. We're gonna move into a seated toe touch. So let's get those straight legs out in front of you. We're gonna try our best to keep the back of our knees tight to the floor on this one, even though they're gonna to wanna to fight up, all right? So let's do a big swim up and over, and then we're gonna reach for our toes. If you can't quite reach your toes, reach for your ankles or your shins or your knees, whatever it is that you can reach for. And we're just gonna hold here. Just a static stretch, pulling back on those toes. You're gonna to get some calves, some hamstrings, glutes, upper and lower back. Again, focus on that breathing, nice controlled breathing, bringing that heart rate back down. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Relax, excellent. Let's go ahead and come up onto our feet, nice and slow here. Alrighty. We're gonna stretch our chest with this last one. It's called a hands behind the head chest stretch. So good posture here. Let's bring both hands behind the head, interlace those fingers. And then we're gonna pull back on those elbows, opening up our chest and our shoulders. Again, got a lot of work in today. Taking a moment here just to relax. Nice little reflective moment to be proud of what we achieved today. That was a killer workout. I don't care who you are, how good a shape you're in, that was gonna kick your butt. It kicked our butt, but you know what? We made it. Here we are, and we are stronger for it. Breathing deeply for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Relax, shake those oh. arms loose. You made it, Claudia. We are done. You made it out there, nice work. We're so grateful that you chose to work out with us today. Thank you so much. Did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? That's right. You can find those complete programs on our HasFit app, which you can download to your iPhone or Android, or you can visit hasfit.com. You can also stop by our store, pick up some HasFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Please also like us on your favorite social media channels. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.